So I got a call from my friend Chris, who apparently has a broken handle on his kitchen faucet. So on today's episode of DIY Not, we're making a house call. Let's head on inside. Hey Kevin, hey. how are you? Chris, how are you doing? Doing well, thank you. So uh, you got a faucet problem. I, I, I have a drills. faucet and I do have a problem. <laughs> so let's go take a look. Yeah, show me where it's at and see what we can do for you. All right, so here's my kitchen. Okay. Oh. And my sink. You got a fancy faucet too, don't you? I do have a fancy faucet. <laughs> Not exactly what I was expecting to see, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Well, um, this faucet came with the house. Okay. Um, we purchased the house a couple years ago and um, didn't take the time to replace the faucet. We kind of liked it. We thought it was pretty sure. functional. And uh, we had a little issue. So uh, the, there is a, this is what controls the faucet. Uh -huh. uh, turns on and off. Traditionally, this would be on there. Okay. Uh, so there is a threaded section that broke off and is now on the inside of here. So we're dealing with a broken handle. We are. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, and even though we have uh, a different kind of faucet, I think that uh, some of the process of fixing a broken handle is going to be similar no matter what mm -hmm. uh, kind of faucet that you're using at your house. So let's go ahead and tackle this project and uh, see if we can't get you straightened out. That sounds great. Let's talk about the parts that we need here, Chris. Well, for parts, I referenced the Kohler website, which has a nice parts diagram. Uh, ordered the correct parts, and we have the instructions that came with the the valve. We have the ha new handle. We have a fancy new one and one eighth inch socket and um, half inch uh, ratchet, and then we have a five sixty fourths Allen wrench. Okay, so not a lot of parts and pieces to this thing, so it seems like it ought to be a pretty easy project. So easy that I think. You can do it by yourself. You know, I do think I can. All right, well, let me step out of the way and let you walk us through it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is shut off the water. So let's get underneath the sink, shut off the water. First thing I'm gonna do is clean out underneath the sink. And now we're gonna get under here and shut off the water. Okay, so I've shut off the water and now we're just gonna make sure. Looks like it's off. And since we're working with some small parts, I'm just gonna stop up the sink. I do not want to have any of these small parts go down into the disposal and I have to show you how to take apart a disposal too. So now that we're safely stopped up, I'm just gonna move the faucet out of the way and we're gonna start disassembling the, uh, the components. So. Okay, so now that we have everything apart, we have a nut that goes around the valve that we are going to replace. So we're gonna use our one and one eighth inch uh, socket and we're gonna remove that nut. There we go. All right. Get that off of there. And we're gonna remove our valve. And here is our broken valve. As you can see, the threaded portion at the end that the handle uh, screwed onto is broken off. Let's go ahead and put the new valve in. Here's the new valve. As you can see, it can only go in one way. It has these two little tabs that will uh, line up the valve appropriately in the faucet. And now we're gonna slide it in, uh, line up the tabs, and put the nut back in. When you put back the nut, uh, they recommend hand tightening it as far as you can, and then turning another quarter turn. So my fingers are a little large, we're gonna just use the socket. Okay, so now that we're tight, we're gonna go back and turn on the water. And before we button everything back up, we're gonna make sure everything works. All right, looks like we're good. Now all you gotta do is replace the disc assembly. Put 
replace the handle. On the back of the handle is a set screw. And once we get it on there, we will use our Allen wrench to set it in place. Man, it almost seemed too easy. Well, how'd it go, Chris? You know, I think it went well, because check that out. <laughs> it works, but it, quite frankly, that's the best test for the success of a DIY project if it works. Mm -hmm. So good job. Uh, so hopefully uh, you're not going to be afraid to tackle a faucet project at your house. Now, like we said at the beginning, this might look a little bit different than what you have at your house, but if we've learned anything today, that if you follow a simple set of instructions provided by the manufacturer and you have a little bit of free time, this is certainly a project any DIYer could tackle. So Chris, thanks again for having us out at your place. Let me check one more time. Yes, good job. It absolutely works. That's going to do it for us today. We'll see you next time on DIY Not. Good job, buddy. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. You bet. You bet.